everybody. Welcome to Maya's tomb. We need to locate schematics. Right, why can't they just go that path? That's a bit of a waste. Tomb of the Bladesmith. Following the directions given by the smith's wife in Memphis, you bring your Praetorian guard into the desert to search for the tomb of Tutankhamun's bladesmith. The burial ground is easy to find once you locate the general area. A rarely travelled road snakes between small, many small crypts built into the sides of steep cliffs. Now, the only problem is how to find the tomb of Tutankhamun's wet nurse, a task not unlike searching for a needle in a haystack. That's... Oh, either 12 slaves or denarii. No! Spend 300 denarii to hire some locals to translate inscriptions on graves, then go grave to grave inspecting each one. You send a few of your Praetorians to the nearest settlement to throw some, some denarii around and find a few locals who know how to read the inscriptions on these old stones. As soon as your translators show up, you all spread out and start searching the many graves. It is Caeso Quinctius Aquilinus who pipes up first, or calling everyone else over to his position to see what he found. What appeared to be a small gravestone has revealed itself to be a door to a dark tunnel that falls away into the earth. As Cineros reaches down to brush some sand of the inscriptions above the entrance... The Egyptians call these symbols divine words. Look, here. This phrase is the same sequence of symbols we saw in the tomb beneath the pyramid. <laughs> we are certainly in the right place. Well, since Sineros can read this, uh, it's his task to go. As Sineros lights a torch and slowly descends into the tomb, the rest of your Praetorian guard keeps close watch above the entrance, listening for signs of trouble. Although Sineros isn't gone for more than an hour, the wait seems eternal. When he appears again at last, the other Praetorians rush to make sure that he hasn't been struck by some ancient pharaoh's curse. Unfortunately, Sineros bears no sign of curse nor injury. He re relates that he did run into a scorpion or two down there, but he was careful to avoid sticking his hand into any small dark places while searching for the schematics. The experience of old. Uh, smiling triumphantly, Sineros presents you with a scroll that carries a drawing he made from a sort of mural inscribed into the walls down there. It shows Dan Carmon's sky metal dagger in all its original glory. This is exactly what Saxtus will need to reforge the ancient blade. Perfect. So we can now reforge the blade. Now oh, that's a long way. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, there's a chest. I can't ignore that one. Um, there's also a chest. Okay, and camp. Okay, so now we can craft two legendary items. We don't need to train with Gavius Tutor, we have a ranged superiority. That's sufficient to kill them all. Okay. Do we need to talk to him again or can we immediately so start wait, like not forging? Okay, let's assign a Praetorian, a foundry. And another Praetorian. Titus Pullo will now unlock battle stratagems. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, but we'll try it regardless. Why is this Praetorian assigned? Boost their approval. Hesitant. No. Devoted, loyal, unwavering, unwavering, indifferent. Unwavering, unwavering. Okay. I find myself looking at everyone differently. Um, Centurion. Wait, where are the items? Tactical upgrade. Well, that's odd. You know. Where is the item? Legendary stuff. Huh? Knowing any one of them could be a spy. At least the higher ups are alert for suspicious dagger. activities now. If any of them. Weapon. 
It's not here. Tactical? No. Is it under upgrades? Where is it? Where is it? How am I supposed to forge something? You know, without Ephos, Pugio, Gladius, no, Kopesh, Kopesh, it's not here, but where is it? This is just odd. Talisman, armor. Any armor that we can still upgrade? Oh yes! Distinct Roman Galea. Let's do it. But where's the good stuff? Equipment. All. Um Scutrum Triarius Armor 3. Eh? Hey? Have materials. Um, Still harbor loyal. Or do we need to destroy? Do we need to find the stuff and destroy it for the recipe? I mean, crafting. Unlock Kopesh crafting schematic the outpost armory. Two commons dagger. Oh, hold to learn. A oh, what? We need to learn the recipes? Are you serious? Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, we need to learn all of... <laughs> okay, this might take a while. Oh, I was unaware of the fact that we have to learn all of this stuff. Okay. Oh, there's the banner of Mars. Oh, so every recipe has to be learned by hand. Oh, nice. Harpy. Yeah, we remember that one. The smoke ball. <laughs> okay. Now we have a lot of stuff to um, craft. do we have water jug damn okay another recipe whiskey whiskey and i guess we also have to destroy a lot of gear pristine stuff at least if we want to oh bulwark too shield strength yeah but mm, how does that one look ay 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 nope goodbye Okay, let's destroy that one. Pristine stuff needs to go. To our let's enemies. See, now we should have a lot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yes. Now we have unique sword. Okay. Attack of opportunity can trigger twice. That's not bad. 25% chance to set your target on fire every time you deal damage. That's very good. Every hit applies the Assayed status effect, which guarantees that the next attack on the same turn will be a critical hit that cannot be resisted. That's interesting. Base damage minimum, maximum critical damage. Hmm. Hmm. Base damage. Let's go for a set on fire. And Tutankhamun's dagger. All damage from this weapon ignores the target's armor. Oh, oh, that's a boss killer. 
Oh dear. Let's see. Berber, Hutban, Centurion, Galley. Oh. So that's very good. Tintin helmet, the map is not. Gladius. Heavy Lodica armor. Christine Stronger armor. Oh, that's a good one. Improved Scutum 3. A true Roman shield. Lurica Musculata. Oh, that looks like a Roman armor. Finally. Now let's get a true Roman shield. And that also looks like a true Roman armor. And now we... Oh, Princeps helmet. Oh, no, oh, now we're talking. Well... Oh, modify. Yeah, but upgrade first. Let's see, where's the dagger? Asclepius, the special daggers that we just forged. Where are they? Ripidus, Count Razor. Do we need to equip them in order to upgrade them or can't they be upgraded? Are they max already? Let's see. Shield strength is restored by however many movement points you have left. I mean, that's a good one. Hmm. They'll be oh, I'm a noob. Oh, we need to wait for this to finish. Found oh, never mind. Right, right. That's not how forging works. We need to wait a specific amount of time traveling on the world map until the gear finishes. Um, okay, foundry, someone is there. And most of the stuff we need to get rid of. And we definitely need to material. If we want to upgrade our stuff, we need more material. Shield. Yeah, this is a bit tedious, but we're done, almost. Uh, triage, wonderful. Now we just need to spend more time. World map. We could conquer a new region that all that takes time. And another counterattack will um, come, I'm pretty sure of that. Deadly Sting, oh, yes, Melanios, wonderful, 
triage scenarios start treatment okay How should we position the troops? Enemy. Oh, we are ready to engage the enemy. Oh dear, we have to use one. I'm not going to use a gambit. That's the best one we have. Let's go with a catapult. Catapult the enemy line is breaking! And stirring speech, always. I see the Praise Mars! The day is ours! And family tent. Good. Classification quest. Yay. No, we can't get there. Okay, that's a small province. Now uh, we're not done yet. The crafting. So let's find stuff there. Mirage warriors, again! Use the supplies and run, just go. We have enough supplies, that matters not. What is that? Maya's tomb. Hmm. Okay. Now that our gear is done, uh, we need to do the pacification quest anyway, we can go there. Heliopolis. Every year, it's quite interesting, um, in modern times, the highest offices usually are several years with the argument that they can get stuff done properly, only if they can spend some time. Um, that thinking, oh, I need to get re-educated after 10 minutes. I mean, well, worked with the Romans. I finished that equipment you requested. Turned out all right, if I do say so myself. You can collect it right over here. Good. Now we just need to upgrade the dagger. Alrighty. Where's the dagger? There it is. The dagger. Oh, it's at max already. Okay. That's good. Oh, it's already at max. Well, let's craft the rest as well. Certainly won't harm anyone. Lurica Segmentata. Princeps Helmet. Own that as well. Done. Darius helmet. Nice. Yes, assign Quintus Artorius. And we have battle stratagems, I believe. And we have a lot of new gear. We have Archeana sword. All slashing damage applies a bleeding status to your target. That's not extraordinary. Base damage. No. Used piercing damage, extra slashing damage, target and fire. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Maybe we're going with a second set. Okay, yeah, we're going to stay with that one. Now that looks perfect. And the shield. Oh dear. That's a true Roman, even though the <laughs> weapon is kind of off. Centurion. Hmm. If you end your turn with your attack action still remaining, you will start your next turn with two attack actions. I mean, that's a strong one, that's for sure. And it looks great. Now nah, we'll stay with Scipio Africanus Helmet. The first attack in each encounter that would bring you to zero health will instead leave you with one health remaining. 
That's also very powerful. Bludgeoning resistance. So it's basically the same armor. But it looks 10 times as good. I mean, this is basically an Ankh. So I like it. But I don't like the looks of it. It looks terrible. So we're going with the true Romans armor. Ooh, resistance armor cap. I mean, that one. It looks like legionary, not like commander. But we are a commander. Um, Veles. We still need a good spear. But we don't have that yet. That's a pity. Hmm. Talisman. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here, really. 50% damage to flanked enemies. I mean, that's perfect if we attack them from behind. Oh, no, well, all damage from this weapon ignores the armor. That's also great. Let's go with that. And let's give him... Well, we can't give him a pike. This man needs a second only weapon. You know what? He doesn't need a spear. Backstab. Flanked enemies. Focus. Uh, swift strike. Hmm. Let's go with swift strike. Okie doke. And they're all good. Princeps. Movement. Armor. Maximum resistance. Armor cap. Mm. No. Nope. Let's stay with Traitor's Mail. Let's give Titus Polo the armor he deserves helmet that he deserves. And Hasta, let's give him a better spear. Do we have a better shield? No. Oh, that's okay. We still have Queen's Warden, so we still have good gear. Let's give it to Volcatius Tullus. And a sword. That one is okay. Okay. So we're done with the preparations. Now we're going for pacification. And we talk. Yeah, we need to talk to Nazo about Ipido and his men. All is well, I hope. Legate, I am at your service as always. Do you know of a centurion in Ligio Athurum by the name of Gider? Mm -hmm. Indeed, there is a centurion by that name. Why do you ask? Have we sent him to collect taxes in Memphis? We certainly have not. We do not collect taxes in Memphis. What is this about, Legate? He and his men were caught in Memphis extorting taxes from the locals. Well, that sounds like robbery to me. How shall I have them punished? Public flogging, 50 lashes each. Well, that seems appropriate. I will make it so. Alrighty, and now we're going to the classification quest. I think the locals are gearing up and getting ready to attack us. Our scouts have seen small caravans headed to a stockpile. Weapons, most likely. Let us burn it all to the ground before they can stage more attacks. More attacks? They've been staging raids and disrupting our supply lines. Nothing too serious for now, but this kind of thing's been happening more and more often. Oh, who is keeping supplying them with weapons? Oh, who keeps? Short answer? We don't know. I personally think these weapons were an old stockpile, previously hidden from us. Sextus thinks they're Roman-made, 
In which case, I suppose those weak sea traitors would be the likely source. What kind of resistance do you expect? Given it's a weapons cache, I expect our opposition to be well armed. As to the size of their force, though, your guess is as good as mine. Well, it will be taken care of. Their stockpile should be our priority. I don't think they will resist too much once their precious weapons are already lost. Our way, Legate. Okay, so our target has been named. Let's see if we have any stratagems that we can use. Infirmary 10, let's go. Oh. Hunker down. Command Deliginati to withdraw. Hunker down, await this out so the fighting can safely be resumed when it has passed. So, only Legion morale. Hmm. Let's improve both. Shelter and resupply. I'm still not a big fan of the shield. It just looks... Ugh. Is this a Roman? Hmm. You know what? That's appropriate. Alrighty. Uh, stock part. What? Up there? Are you serious? Specification quest for this region is up there. Well, that seems off. Well, let's bring our Legion of Thrones. Oh, enemy strength. Oh dear. That's a lot. The old warrior. Ah. Crags. Target settlement. Ah. There is more to you than meets the eye. What are you doing here so far from the civilization? Reluctant to speak. He was a great leader of warriors once he fought against the Roman authority, but he retired a few years ago when Lucullus came to these lands. The proconsul made peace with his tribe and he felt that he was no longer needed. We could use a man like you. Join my new African legion and train my men. Gives you some honest consideration, even drawing aside to confer with his family. Uh, he says that he will need two things before I accept the commission. 500 denarii to his family. Around two years worth of legionarius salary. Secondly, you or one of your people must defeat him in single combat. You must prove the skill and discipline of your warriors before you will agree to train your new legion. I will fight you myself. You have fought many men before. This man may be the best single best warrior you have ever faced, but your strength and speed is just about a match for his experience and cunning. Your Praetorians watch from a safe distance and the duel wears on. You are starting to feel fatigue creep up on you when you finally spot an opening. The years have worn on him and he's not as enduring as he may once have been. Ah, the brawn tactic. Go in light armor versus a heavy armored, wear him out and throw him through the moon door. You thrust past his defenses and slash across his arm, forcing him to drop his weapon. Disarmed and at your mercy he surrenders. The man- oh, we're 150 of army experience. The man clutches his bleeding wrist, but he seems pleased with your performance. You pick up his weapon and respectfully hand it to him. And he shakes your hand with his uninjured arm. He will join your league, you Afrorum, and teach your soldiers what he knows of war. Okie dokie. You know what? That's a story for another episode.